I'm coming off of fighting three former world champions, and I just beat the best wrestler in the division. I have some news. Amanda Nunes, I want to fight you. It is officially fight week for me. I am at Chicago O'Hare International Airport. I um, am about to board my plane to Las Vegas, and I got my whole crew with me. Uh, my my uh, coach, Wayne Gregory, got a police escort, so we went through a massive line uh, at the baggage claim and got to uh, check our bags. Thank you so much, I hope you win. And then we got escorted to the gate and uh, they said that we could uh, board the plane first. So that's pretty pretty cool, the pulling out the carpet. <laughs> this is our 27th fight week. It's our third with Reagan. And from the beginning, it's just been, you know, crazy because the first couple shows I was still fighting on this on the local circuit she had her first fight in the UFC and it was like I remember both of us like not having credit card to like put the down payment for the hotel so it's kind of funny to see like how things evolved and now here we are with baby 27 camps later and you know I feel like we still have a bunch left Reagan with me is like, take stress away, take everything away. It looks like I'm, I'm home, you know, like normal life. So, it's really is amazing. Bringing me a lot of energy, more happy, more everything. So, it's just amazing. It's a question for Amanda. When you look at Juliana, does she have anything that you have not experienced in that octagon? Get <laughs> her! Uh, Honestly, what, what Juliana has is just not to lose it. What if she show up Saturday, I'm gonna have the answers and I will finish her. This belt not gonna go anywhere, baby. I'm telling you. Guys, thanks for coming out today. We're gonna rip this stuff out of here. We'll square them off for photo ops. We'll see you on Saturday. <laughs> UFC title challenger Juliana Pena, six and two in the UFC, told us this week, my two losses are because I made amateur mistakes against current or former world champions Jermaine Durandamy and Valentina Shevchenko. She says, Joe, she is willing to meet Amanda Nunes head on, meet her pressure and momentum in the middle of the octagon. She's ready to change her life with a signature, monumental, sport-changing win. She has found more motivation, and she's never been a champion that has decided to slack off or maybe take her foot off the gas pedal. She pushes down and accelerates in every camp. It's been almost two years since her bantamweight title was on the line, and she stepped on that scale at 134.5. A, a point to her dedication. She has worked so hard for this one. You know, she talks about the stylistic matchup. She said, I've seen people like Juliana before. Everyone I face is dangerous, though, because they have nothing to lose. Juliana Pena looking to spin this MMA world on its axis. With a sport-altering win, Amanda Nunes looking to keep things status quo. Juliana Pena in white, Amanda Nunes in the black and gold befitting a champion. 
Juliana needs to get close. She really does. And she's got to tighten it up a little bit. When she throws her combination, she can't be looping. It'll leave too many openings for Amanda Nunes. But she is showing a willingness to throw in there in the pocket. I think she has to. I don't oh. think she has any choice. Nunes enters, promptly lands a right hand. Beautiful job by Juliana turning into a single leg here. She's got to get her head up, start to move to this finish. This is a massive moment for Juliana Pena. She needs to show that she can get this fight to the floor with her on top. Juliana might have this right, excuse me, left arm in danger here. I mean, she's, she's not in the best position. Oh, look at this. She's holding on to this Kimura and utilizing her butterflies, and she's putting Amanda in a dangerous situation. And Amanda's got to defend that left arm now. Look at her. You see a little bit of concern on Amanda's face. She recognizes it's not a good place to be. She's protecting that arm, and she wants to get that left leg into play to block it so that Juliana can't pull that Kimura out. And she wants to make sure she doesn't have control over her body. But she's got to be a bit defensive here. And now she's free. She was a willing grappler in round one. But I, I don't know if she anticipated Juliana switching to singles, going to the half guard and just moving under her so much, causing her to have to make sure that she's moving with her which can tire you if you're not used to doing it. Now, if Amanda starts to chase knockout, that's when she'll fatigue. Oh, Pena's doing a good job of just getting in her face here. Pena's jab lands again. Again, she's landed a few now. Oh, right hand for Juliana. Oh, my goodness. Juliana Pena! Juliana stumbling with that left hand. Oh, this is going to make Amanda tired. Right hand now lands on a big one for Nunez. If Juliana changes levels here, there's a look of concern. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Oh, she hurt her. Oh my Juliana God. Hurt her. Nunez still with that half smirk, eats a Pena jab. Oh, I, I think the mouth guard is open though. The mouth is open for Amanda Nunez. Press from Nunez. Oh! Tried down by Pena. Oh, my goodness. And now Pena to the back. Oh, Juliana's got it down. She's got a choker. 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 Juliana Pena. She said she was going to be fine. She said she was going to be fine. She has beaten Amanda Nunez. Juliana Pena is the UFC Bantamweight champion. Oh, my goodness. That's the biggest upset in the history of the sport. And no! Juliana Pena, you just shook up the world. 